Okay, Brick City Toys is back. We are looking at the Fiat 500 day, which was the winner of our big poll. We had the Fiat 500 going up against the Harley Davidson Fat Boy and versus a set that I would pick at random. All three came at 33% dead heat. So I'm going with the Fiat 500 because the bright light yellow was the color of my mother's kitchen growing up. It brings back fond memories. And of course, the easel represents my love of art. I've, always been, I've been a hobby artist now for my entire life. So let's get right to it. Not waste any time. So. We are seeing more and more of these really creator expert vehicles coming out, and I love it. It's awesome. So retail price is at 90 bucks, great. Uh, we have a lot of elements here that are in that uh, bright light yellow, and which is great. I'm really surprised that LEGO went with this. Um, the Fiat, I'm sure, is much more popular in Europe, but here in the States, you know, we're not really, that's not a car you see very often at car shows. Um, it just, you know, even though there was like 4 million produced in the last, what, 30 years, um, yeah, not big here in the States, but do love the fact that all those cool curved elements are now in bright light yellow, kind of unique flavor to this set. So, as I said before, the Fiat 500, you don't really realize how small the car is in actual real time, because like here in the States, I've never actually seen one. I've been to about what, 10 car shows over the years, never seen one there. Mainly, like I said before, a, a European, Italian car. But when you see it in a photograph with somebody standing next to it, you just realize just how tiny this thing really is. And I can only imagine cramming in there. Now, I think if you were a teenager or a young person, you're really excited to drive these really tight cobblestone streets in, in Europe, and especially down in Rome and Italy. And a lot of those old movies like Roman Holiday, I remember as a kid seeing um, those, those movies shown again, and people zipping around these little cars. So it's kind of cool. Like my aunt had a VW Beetle um, growing up, so I'm familiar with them. But like I said, here in the States, uh, we're not really these, these cars weren't exactly that popular for us. So anyways, getting speaking of the Volkswagen uh, uh, Beetle, that car was actually more popular because more of them are, are around even today, especially in California. So released in uh, 2008, this was one of Lego's first creator expert uh, vehicles that they had done. And you can see back then, they didn't have all the elements that were curved to really give you that nice contour of what the Beetle kind of is. But it has kind of that bricky look, which I think is still okay, it's still kind of charming. It takes you back to how Lego was, you know, back in the um, early 70s and beyond. So I'm okay with it. It retailed for $120 back in the day, and currently it is doing much better. Reselling at $560, part of value of $497. That is an increase of 350%, and per year, 26%. Now keep in mind though, there's only seven of these right now that are still sealed that I found that were even for sale. And of course, when you have a popular set that's kind of a classic set and you also have only seven left and it's been 12 years later, it's gonna command those insane prices. Um, so don't get your hopes up too much for the Fiat just yet. The Fiat's part at value, like I said, is pretty good. Um, it's actually a little higher than 190, but like I said, it's dipped a little bit since more and more are getting parted out now. But like I said, so the part of value would be high on this because the fact there's, like I said before, there's so many elements in this that have that bright light yellow color that you can't find on their sets. Um, but still, the part of value is great. It's a great barometer to look at. So you always want to see a doubling there. We have it here. That's a great sign. So what do we have after all that's being said? Bottom line, here it is. If we look at the Beetle and kind of project that out with the Fiat, you're looking at $207 in about five years. So a little more than doubling. Now the big question is the over-under, right? Do, do I think, or do we think as a community that it's gonna hit that 207? Um, I'm gonna say no, I'm gonna, here's, here's why. Um, Lego has been lately flooding out there a lot of these classic cars, um, not, not just in Creator Expert, but also in Technic. And they're looking, really, they're looking better and better every year. So there's a lot of competition and um, the Fiat here in the States is not exactly an iconic car. As cute as it is, as awesome as it is, um, it's more of a European thing, so I don't think it's going to help it too much here, at least in the States. In Europe, it could be a different situation. So I definitely think those things being said, we're probably looking at under $207. I think still reselling well, but I, I, I'm putting it around $150 in five years. So I, I really, I can't recommend picking this up, um, at least not for retail. If you find one for 20% off or 30% off, well then by all means go for it. You have, you have some room to grow, but just at retail price and holding for five years, I, I don't think that's the best choice. I can't, there are other sets out there I think are better than this one. Um, but if you're buying it just to build it, which I plan to do, I, like I said, I parted out 10 of them over last summer. Um, I think it's fine for that. So that's my recommendation. I think the Fiat is one you should keep on your radar, but it's not one that I would rush out and grab, especially at the retail price. 
And that, my friends, is the Brick City Toys and we, formerly uh, Brick Barbarian, uh, and a lot of other names, of course, along the years. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate uh, the support over the years. And, you know, the fans have been very consistent. You guys want more of these Lego investing chats that we do, these, these sort of sit-downs. And I appreciate it. And I'm, I'm taking your, your word on this, man. I'll do more. As long as you guys want them, I'll keep doing them. I've been doing this for a long time now on YouTube, as you guys know, been with me. And um, so probably, actually probably one of the earliest ones doing it. But anyways, I digress. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you later. Bye.